Hi dear parents, welcome back to another math hour. Today I'm going to show you how to find the diagonal line length of a rectangle. You can see in my example over here, I've got a rectangle. Uh, the width is 8 centimeters long and the length of this rectangle is 20 centimeters long. And we'd like to find the D. What is the length between this side of the diagonal to the other side of the diagonal of this rectangular box? And to do this, we're going to need a formula. So let me give you the formula right now. The formula to find the diagonal line is um, D is equal to the square root of length. I'm trying to write here the best I can length squared okay plus width squared that is the formula in order to find that diagonal length now how do we use this formula let's plug in the numbers we know what the length of this rectangle is it is 20 centimeters and of course when I put it in I'm going to put it inside the parentheses where there's a square there. Plus, my width here is 8 centimeters long. So I plug in the 8, and that's also something I'm going to square. Now that I've got the numbers, let's square them. 20 multiplied by 20, 20 squared, is equal to 400. Plus, and 8 squared is 8 times 8, and that is 64. Okay? And then 400 plus 64 is 464. So my distance or my length of the diagonal is the square root of 464. Now, this right now is the correct answer. But sometimes you may be asked to estimate or try to find a number that is close to the square root of 464. And how do you do that? You're going to have to come up with this fan fantastic technique called guessing. That's all you can do. Guess. So, 464. So, I'm trying to think of some number multiplied by the same number is going to give me an answer that's very close to 464. Uh, let, me take my, let me take 20 and 20. How about 20 times 20? Well, I know that 20 times 20 is 400. And that is very close to 464, but not close enough. Let's try a little bit bigger number. Let's try, well, 20 is too small, so let's do 23 then. Maybe that'll work. Let's do 23 multiplied by 23. See if that comes close to 464. 2 times 3 is 9. 3 times 2 is 6. Put the x over here, cross this out, we don't need any more. 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 times 2 is 4 and when you add this up I'm going to get 9 6 plus 6 is 12 1 plus 4 is 5 529 wait, wait a second 529 is way too big this is 464 I gotta try something smaller how about 22 how about 22 multiplied by 22 alright 22 times 22 2 times 2 is 4 2 times 2 is 4 Put the x, cross this number out. 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 2 is 4 again. Uh, 4. And that's going to be 4, 8, and 4. Let's check. 484. Close, close, but it's still too high up. We need a number equal to 464, or a little bit less than 464. 22 doesn't cut it. And that means there's only one option left. Let's try 21. That's got to work. Let's do 21 multiplied by 21. 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 2 is 2. X. 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. Add them up, and we're going to get 1, 4, and 4. 441 is pretty close to 464, and that's it, guys. That's good enough. So the answer is that the length of this re uh, line, the diagonal, is about, and there's a special symbol in math, which means about or estimate or rounding. And that symbol is called the tilde. This right here, 
This symbol is called tilde. You can see this on your keyboard, in fact. Tilde or tilde. And this means about an estimate. A rough estimate. A good estimate, in fact. So, the square root of 464 is about 21, and in this case, the units are centimeters. So that is the answer I would put over here if I was asked to find a number as close as possible to the square root of 464. So the length of this line is about 21 centimeters. Okay? And yes, I can find the exact answer. I can go with decimals. I can keep trying until I get very close to 464. But you don't have to in this case. We just want to have an idea of how big this line is. In fact, if I do the square root of 464, I will get, let's see, 21.5. That's close enough. We got 21. That's good enough for this case. Okay? Anyways, this is how you use a formula to find the diagonal line length of a rectangle. The square root, length square, plus width square. Plug in the numbers, find the total, uh, total number, and then square root of that. Take a square root of that by guessing and estimating. And that's how you do this. All right? Thank you.